Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. Um, hi G-Man. Okay guys, before I proceed, I want to tell you I am not giving you any medical advice. I am not making any medical claims. I'm just simply sharing information that I've been finding guys and I'm going to give you my opinions on about some things and just stuff that I've even seen personally. So let's go ahead and get started right here. Check it out. Parasite linked with Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease, epilepsy and cancer. Is that all? <laughs> personally, I actually think that parasites and worms will be linked to even more than this but this is huge guys even if it was just alzheimer's it'd be a big deal but also parkinson's also epilepsy and of course cancer i mean we already know that cancer actually plays a role now this study was old because this is actually from 2017 but the japanese and i believe it was 2020 figured out the uh, detection well they're using a type of method to detect cancer uh in its very early stages but the thing is, is that it all has to do with parasites and they ended up finding out that there's a correlation between that. But back to this article, I'll just show you a few different things. But all I'll say is that in my methods that I've used to heal myself is I definitely I'm into anti-parasitics. I'm into certain type of diet so that you can prevent or lower parasitic content in the body. And of course, hydrogen. I mean, there's even been a study that showed that it lowered the amount of parasites in the body. So hydrogen has a real positive effect on that. And if you just kind of scroll through here, there's a lot of information. I'll try to put the link down below if you guys want to read it. Uh, the simple fact is, check it out. I mean, the U.S. looked into it. Canada, England, Scotland, Australia. You know, so they were kind of looking into this. They obviously see that there's a link between Toxoplasma gondii, um, which is a type of parasite. The guys, it comes from primarily cats. So definitely be cautious if you have cats. And this is why I personally, not not really like recommend, but this is what I would do is I definitely do deworming. I definitely try to keep, you know, keep my body as clean as possible. And just a really clean lifestyle. Well, it even says right here, I mean, you can use certain drugs if you want. And there are certain antiparasitics and dewormers that appear to be non-genotoxic that I personally use, but also a, a certain type of diet. So you can either not only delay the disease, because if somebody has it, you can delay the onset or the progression. But it gets really interesting because they really want to understand how this all works. Now granted, if you have a compromised immune system, in my opinion, you're definitely going to be more susceptible to an infection from the parasite. You can still test positive for it. It may not be affecting you right now, but I think it increases the risk. So that's why you want to really keep your immune system healthy, guys. You really need to try to do preventative, in my opinion. That's what I personally do instead of trying to treat a problem. And even if you try to treat a problem, you have to increase the strength of your own personal immune system. Obviously, that's why, guys, I'm into like the really clean water, uh, hydrogen, obviously, clean diets, deworming, all that wonderful stuff that I personally do for myself. And so they also found how it affects the gene network. So basically how it affects your your genes being expressed so gene expression so that's also something that is very very interesting because they're looking at how that happens and as you guys probably know from watching a lot of my videos or if you haven't hydrogen appears to affect gene uh, expression also so i just think it gives us better odds when we're doing certain things to prevent a lot of these conditions especially if it's something kind of genetically in your family just because it's genetic in my opinion doesn't mean that you can't prevent it or at least slow the onset of it. So I just thought this was a really interesting article. I definitely think it's worth looking at, guys. And like I said, I really think that a lot of these type of infections that come from, you know, certain types of worms and parasites that they're not going to test you for, or they might not even find that you have an issue, but they could definitely be inside of you. I just think it's a good idea to keep the, the body clean or as some call it, you know, the temple clean, you know, if you're getting kind of biblical or scriptural you know the body is the temple of god and you know you should keep the temple clean and i i personally think that that seems like a good idea because it just makes sense so hopefully you guys found this information helpful don't forget to share it guys i mean again this article is only talking about cancer i say only that's i think the number two killer in the world i believe alzheimer's dementia those type of things are at the top five somewhere and just all these type of issues and i just don't think people know that this data is out there i mean there's a lot of doctors that don't even know it always shocks me how much doctors don't know when they're, you know, they went to school for so long, but a lot of this data is really new. So maybe it wasn't being taught when they were in medical school. And, you know, obviously they just don't know about it. So again, don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys on the next one.